Hello, welcome to next egg degustation. This time I have something interesting. Jatecki goose, czerny. So black. What's interesting in this beer? Well, everything says that it is a Czech beer. Uh, nice label. Czech writing. Uważeno se żateckim hemelem, tradyczny czerny. What you would say? The bag reveals everything. It's all Russian. It's brewed by Baltica in Russia. Uh, napitok is gotowlenny na osnowie piwa. Ratecki goes czerny. Uh, they didn't even say it's a beer. It's a beer like drink or oh, malt drink kind of. I was looking for a alcohol extract on it. I couldn't find it. Very small print, uh, and no, but somewhere here, there, in the, in the middle, three point five percent. Like, oh, like, uh, I was thinking, what, what, what they doing? The bottle looks very nice. Uh, Baltica is a part of the Carlsberg Group. Jatetsky Pivovar exists and they say it's supervised. Uh, this beer is supervised by Shatetsky Pivovar, but they don't produce such a beer. It's only produced in Russia and Russian speaking countries. You, you can find it in Ukraine, Kazakhstan, uh, Russia, of course, uh, but nowhere else. But it's based on Czech recipe. Brand is bought by Karlsberg and used everywhere. Uh, right, so what we can say about this beer? It looks nice. Uh, most probably it's a Schwarz beer. Or maybe Czech mother. I'm just guessing. Uh, we don't know. Well, on the Russian page, at least they gave us a little bit of ingredients. First is water, then light barley malt, barley, maltose syrup, caramel and black malts, and hops. On the Polish side, Polish Karlsberg side, uh, under the Zatecki Goose Svetli Lejak, I found who actually is responsible for the recipe, Thomas Lasek. So I'm just guessing that he had something to do with this recipe as well. I'm just guessing as it's this beer production is supervised by Jatetsky Pivovar. Maybe. I don't know. Right, so let's open it and have a try. Um, mystery Czech Russian beer. Ooh, yeah, it is malty. Right, so what we have? Quite dark brown beer with the ruby accents and nice thick um, uh, foam on the top. Um, Bash color, right? Aroma it's like malt drink, uh, kind of a uh, what 
aroma, a little bit of yeast, molds, something like this. A little bit of chocolate and a little bit of hops. Well, some sweetness. Well, it's not so bad. Okay, let's have a try. Cheers. It's semi sweet, smooth, creamy, delicate, with soft roasted um, bitterness. Yeah, the roastiness, it's very soft but quite distinctive here nice gentle um, mixes very well with um, sweetness a little bit of herbal accents in, in the bitterness um, well it, it tastes like Czech Mava definitely it's quite gassy but you don't uh, really feel uh, this carbonation uh, in your mouth well, very gentle beer yeah check it mother it's on the edge of beer and malt drink nice some very gentle sour notes hmm the bitterness is quite nice now it's rounded but rising hmm. you know what it is an interesting beer uh, but not for everyone it's very gentle very soft uh, semi-sweet uh, and just like malt drink so it makes impression of uh, much lower ABV, even if it's only 3.5, you would say, oh no, it's just a malt drink. Yeah, it tastes like. Hmm. Well, it's okay. Nothing extraordinary. Nothing special. But, you know, mass produced. Checked mother, it's okay. Well, I'm just trying to find the, any, any, any problems in this beer, but actually, in this one, there's, there's nothing particular, so well, it's okay. But it's just a, a strange story that it's a um, Czech recipe, you know, uh, commercially shown as a Czech beer, but actually it's produced in Russia and only in Russia. So, well, you can try. Why not? Um, have your own opinion. What do you think about this? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this beer, so please like it. Please subscribe my channel and when you've done it already hit the notification button in the shape of the bell. It will remind you about every new video on the channel to be up to date and because of this you will not miss any new updates stations. Cheers!